Hello, how can we help you? Hi, I want to buy a car. Maybe you can give an idea on how I could I purchase it. Don't worry, because we have a special offer. You can buy a particular car model by purchasing it on terms of simple interest. You sparked my curiosity. Let me, let me see the model of the car you're talking about and please discuss the terms of payment. I'm glad you are interested. So let me offer a new V model for this year 2021. This is GYX car, a fuel efficient vehicle that is ideal for day to day office travel prospective for a professional like you. The cost of this car is 500,000 pesos only. I believe this is a reasonable cost, especially if you can afford a hand and a 15% cash down payment upon signing of contract. We will be giving the terms at your convenience. Now, you see that bank could finance the remaining balance of 425,000 pesos. May I please present to you the following three terms which may match for your fondness. Now, kindly check these terms. A. If you pay for the car for 18 months, the monthly amortization would be 25,385 pesos. B. If you pay for the car for 12 months, the monthly amortization would be 37,238 pesos. C. If you pay for the car for 60 months, the monthly amortization would be 9,227 pesos. Okay, I understand that my monthly payment would be higher when I have an ample sum of money because an easy 12 months would let me buy a good car. But I have to check my paycheck and see what I can afford to pay. I immediately will call back once I've made up my mind. Thank you. Thank you for showing interest in our product. We will be glad to hear from you again. Huh. I don't know if I should avail the R. Have you understood the terms? Actually, no. Oops. You could have called me earlier so I can help you. Really? I guess you're busy watching Netflix movies. Yeah, you know me too well, but you know, I'm a geek when it comes to engaging in business transactions. Whatever you say. So, what were the terms of payment? The car dealer said that if I pay for the car for 18 months, ideally, I should pay 25,385 pesos monthly. While if I pay for the car for 12 months only, an amortized value of 37,238 pesos seems a burden to my savings. But I could acquire the car soon. I felt it's extremely costly, you know. My, pay my paycheck seems to not to have enough money. Look, this is a big liability. If I grab that offer given the chance, I've made the down payment of 15% and the balance will be financed by the bank. So... You like to purchase it immediately, but to no reward. Obviously, I cannot help you to finance that dream car of yours. But can you remember other terms offered or other car that costs cheaper than 500,000 pesos? Yes, I have noticed the third term. The amount payable monthly would only be 9,227 pesos. If I pay for the car for 60 months equivalent to 5 years, look not strict, I believe. What can you say about it? Hmm, so what have I noticed? The term of paying a monthly amortization of 9,227 pesos, as you said, is affordable and maybe you can come to a decision. Over the 5 year period, you could own the car and your probable expenses is rightly just for your concern. Honestly, I don't know what term should I agree on. How would I realize the positive and negative effects of agreeing on a certain term? Bingo! 
At least you're getting smarter now. It's smart of you to contact your geek attractive friend, like me. Whatever, you're always so self-satisfied. Would you like me to tell you the real deal? Just help me make a decision. Stop joking around. Alright, fine. Here I go. I'll be your magician for the day. I've made countless transactions of helping others to get a sound decision regarding accepting or rejecting a Carl deal offer. Some clients reacted about having a hard time paying for their car for how many years just because they did not really understand the concept of a simple interest when it comes to purchasing something on credit. Based on my understanding, each term offered to you by the car dealer can earn you advantages, but it's really up to your lifestyle and paycheck as what concerns to you badly can make you technically decide which offer may you serve your needs. Here's the actual deal. The first option means if you can pay 25,385 pesos regularly without default for 18 months, the remaining balance will be financed by the bank to help you own the car upon your 15% down payment. The bank will issue a certificate of registration and will provide you an official receipt of full payment once you show them your valid ID that you're the legitimate buyer of the car. The same story goes for the second and third options the car dealer has presented to you. Only the period time covered is about the difference. I'm learning now. Now, if you can pay 37,238 pesos for 12 months, then you reduce the principal balance quickly. Thus, you can easily transfer ownership onto your name because you can pay amortization over a short period of time or an early period as I should say and 18 months is much longer but on the average you could choose to think this offer is good always be mindful of the restructured value of the car increases as you pay it in a shorter time yet you have to consider your monthly expenses that wouldn't hurt you too. All in all, if you want to sell the car after your full payment, your profit would be better than you could have paid this at a later time because car is an asset that depreciates in value over time. I'm looking forward to that deal, I guess. Let me continue. So, if you choose to pay for 60 months like what most average or low income earners do, you will be charged for an affordable amount of 9,227 pesos. This will be a less burden for you if your anxiety is about a liability because this amount is more inexpensive since your fear is your paycheck's capacity to meet obligations. Am I right? My decision becomes stronger now. You were able to explain the profits of choosing the best alternatives. I thank you for that. But can you show the unhappy side? Of course. If you make late payment, there could have additional fees which the bank will impose on the purchase of car. The car loan term shall be revised because the bank needs to ensure that fees are fully paid at the end of the loan. This is actually bothersome for borrowers like you, but for the bank, I'm sure you're helping them too. Take note that cars are assets that depreciate in value. Then, the profit when you sell this car after full payment is much lower than you could have paid without default or other fees added up to the cost of the car. Whatever option you pick, don't forget that the bank will still charge you the interest. The modification is time period you will be paying them and your ability to follow the terms. Also, the bank can still earn interest income if you choose to pay at a longer time. So, 
the best option is chosen wisely. That was heavy. I think I prefer to pick what is somehow less burdensome for me in the long run. I'll choose option one. That's the most attractive of offer for me among the other options. The value of the car is much value for me, although, although paying so much would be onerous. But if I'm earning a good income or maybe I can catch up on my investment savings, thus I can satisfy my needs and wants. Thank you for clarifying this. You are welcome. Hi, I would like to purchase the same car model we talked about last time. I choose the first option, which is to pay 25,385 pesos for 18 months. As you wish. Thank you for making a transaction with us. Uh, okay. You sound like my friend though. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Hmm, something is fishy. You, you're my friend. You've been playing me in your palms all this time. Are you working here in a car dealership company as a car dealer? I'm busted. I can't deny the fact. Yes, I do. Still, I got you. This is your mistake. You see that the car dealer and me is the same person. Whatever, you smart joker. <laughs> the clip you've shown you is about the simple interest which is the paying of loans over a period of time at a certain rate provided by the lender or financer. Considering the principal amount is the basis of calculations of interest rate and the borrowed amount is amortized regularly until this such amount is fully satisfied. This is favorable for borrowers who want to choose alternatives of how their purchases would be consumed and how long would they enjoy the benefits over time. Thus, Simple interest usually earned by financial institutions, like the commercial banks around us, could help us improve our living when lenders give the borrowers a good chance of credit to own a property. This simple interest also applies to mortgage or real property, likewise when earning conservative savings from time deposit where the interest gains favor how much time is invested. Mother, can you help me invest on something fruitful? Now that I'm getting older. Yes, my pleasure. Capture the episode of my story. Once there was a girl who loved to eat frozen sweets, went to an old lady to ask for help. Hey, young girls in town, I'm selling my power weapons to help you put your money to work for you. Anyone interested? Let's join my tribe. Oh my dear old lady, you look fatigued, but I am captivated by your spell. What power you sell? Can I you give me one, please? Okay, I will show you on how to become rich and grow your money quickly. Go ahead, I am listening. Time is of the essence here, my poor girl, because more time is required to allow your money to grow amazingly. This is compound interest on investing your money to me, so I need your cooperation. Will you work this out? Of course, I will do. Listen, young girl. I encourage you to purchase my power puffs, and you should hold this over a long period, but please reinvest this to give you advantages on your gains. I'm excited. Will that give a profound impact of returns? What is important is how you keep investment satisfying for a very long time. But you must be sure that you can really devote your efforts to reduce risk of putting your wealth in the wrong asset. Here, I will show you. If you like to compound interest rate of 5% on your investment 50,000 pesos, let us say in 3 years, four years and five years respectively. I have options for you to try and taste the flavorful frozen sweets that I know you will love. My first option is buy my vanilla powder pops at 5% interest and earn additional scoop of frozen sweet in three years. This costs you to invest 50,000 pesos. The return is cordially tempting worth 57,881.25 cents. Second option for you 
is to buy my Oreo Power Pops at the same 5% interest and not earn only a scoop of frozen sweet, but free cones when you invest the similar amount of 50,000 pesos. This return could give you 60,707. Third option for you is to buy our all time favorite chocolate fudge pops at 5% interest and earn extra scoop of frozen sweet plus another chocolate pops good for takeout to bring some to your loved ones. This offer I believe will make you the richest girl in town today. So, let me know your craving. Please choose the tasteful pops which have good flavors. Yes, I grabbed the third option because it is delicious and crunk. While I may consider first the three years in the first option when I worry of finding my lost stuff. It looks conservative and yield immediate returns. But if I will starve enough, I will be better off with longer years because compounding interest on potion sweet have rich flavor and mouth watering than compounding in a short term. Thanks, I have learned so much from this. Oh, this episode really enlightened my thoughts about compounding interest on investing some of money. I think meticulously when it comes to investing money. Thanks for sharing this site. I could sleep better now and increase my- You should know by now, my child, I love to eat frozen sweets like you do. For all we know, sweets will do good not only during summer, spring, and fall, but also during winter. I hope you got it. Yes, Christmas lights flickered. I can enjoy the benefits when Christmas comes. The waiting time to reap rewards is the exciting part of compounding interest.